Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect Cursor AI Code Editor with MySQL database. So Cursor AI Code Editor is an AI driven tool. It helps developer to write code with the help of AI. Now, first of all, what I need to do, I need to open the Cursor AI tool. Okay, so I will go in the search bar and I will type Cursor and I will open this uh, Cursor AI application. Okay. So this is a AI uh, driven tool. Let me just open it first. Okay. So in order to connect to MySQL database, uh, what you need to do, you need to install a SQL tools extension. Okay. It is opening at the moment. It may take some time to open. So on my right side of this uh, cursor AI code editor tool, it's, it's a check window. So what, I'm going to do, I'm going to provide some uh, commands here. Okay. And then AI is going to do the task for me. Okay. But the first step is that I have to install the SQL tool extension. So I will go here in this section extension and I will search the extension called SQL tools and I will press enter. Okay. Now I will install this extension SQL tools, my SQL. Okay. The moment I'm going to install this extension, you will see the connect button over here. Okay. It is installing at the moment. I need to wait for a while. Look, the connect button has been uh, appeared. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, click this connect button. Okay. So now I will have to click plus add new connection. So it is going to give me uh, different uh, drivers. So since I'm connecting to MySQL, so I will select the MySQL driver. So I have to provide the connection name. So the connection name is uh, my SQL connection con and port is this server address is localhost. Okay. Now database name is the project name. Okay. So the project database I have already created over here. Okay, this is the project database I've created using the uh, command create database project. So if you look at over here, let me just show you the connections. So look, these are the connections that I have created. If you want to create a new connection, you will go here and you will create a new connection. Let me just edit this connection. Okay, I need to edit this host name is localhost. Okay, which will be required. Uh, when I have to connect to the MySQL. Okay. Username is the root. Okay. Root is the uh, default user. Okay. For MySQL. So I will give the root as my username. Password I will give admin. So admin is the password that I set while installing MySQL on my system. Okay. Admin is the password. Click OK connection is successful okay now let me just open this connection it is successful okay now what i need to do next is just test connection over here allow now password for user so admin is the password and i will press enter and you will see the status successfully connected now click save connection and then you have to click connect now so look it is connected now what next I need to do just remove the extra tabs I need to use this chat bar over here I will provide the request to AI so what request I need to provide I need to provide the request that I want to create an employee table along with insert statements so the model these are different models that you can select right now I'm going to select this default model which is Claude 3.5 something. Okay. Agent. So I have selected the agent. So this agent is going to do the task for me. Now over here, I'm going to provide the request. So the request is please create an employee table in my SQL. Database also create insert statements and I have to click this send 
so now the ai is going to generate uh, the code for me now it is generating not only it will generate the code but it will also explain the code as well it will give the brief description about the code now look employee.sql is, is creating a file is creating look a file has been created uh, which uh, contains all the code okay also it is uh, giving some explanation as well now in order to run this whole sql i have to click this run on active connection okay now the table has been created all the all the rows have been inserted in my employee table okay now uh, i need to go over here okay just go over here and you select and after select press the tab button now now what i need to do i need to run this query in order to run i will click this run on active connection click this you will see all the data of my table okay now i can just write just some other queries like where uh, first name equals to john now run on active connection okay uh, where first name okay just remove the semicolon and just run this again look it has returned me one row okay i hope you have gone through the process of connecting cursor ai code editor with mysql database and this is how you run sql queries okay thank you so much at the end i would request you to please subscribe like and share